Hey everyone, uh, welcome to your weekly Sun Sign Astrology Horoscopes for the week of July 20th to 27th of 2022. Be sure to watch these videos uh, for the sign pertaining to your sun, moon, and rising. Get a more accurate description of you personally for the week. Um, and if you want a more in-depth look at the collect or the weekly energies for us collectively, you can check out my weekly video as well. With that being said, let's get into the chart for your sign. Hey Sagittarius, how are you doing this week? So this quarter moon is going to be happening in your fifth house. Ignore, ignore this happening here. It's the way that I have to align this chart. I have to put it at a different time. But this is happening at 27 degrees of Aries in your fifth house and squaring this sun opposition Pluto stuff happening in your second and eighth houses. So this second and eighth house opposition here is dealing with aspects of desire, money, what's going to make you feel good in life. Where do you want to make the investment to bring you the life, you know, that you want to live? This is in regards to what do you want to nurture, especially in terms of your goals, home life, and career. Um, with this square here from the moon in Aries in your fifth house is dealing with love, unconditional love, aspects of love, love for yourself as well you know and the connections to love and where where that's going to help you in terms of nurturing your desires and the direction and where you want to go um let's move to friday here where we have the sun ingress leo so the sun is going to ingress leo and it's going to happen into your ninth house so again this is about expansion so expansion beliefs especially in terms of love and self-expression is going to be the are, go, are going to be the themes for you throughout this um, Sun and Leo cycle. So now, if we move on to Saturday here, we can see there's Mercury trine Jupiter. Let's see here. So Mercury in your ninth house, trine Jupiter in your fifth house. Again, this is, this is an expansion, an expansion of love for you, and especially in terms of like passion, desire, and this is happening at eight degrees of Scorpio degrees. So this may be even extremely intimate for you, especially in terms of maybe communicating those certain aspects. But again, this expansion in this investment for yourself in terms of love, what you love, and where do you want to go and to shine your brightest in your life and, and expanding in those areas. So let's move on to Monday here where we have Venus square Jupiter. So we have Venus in your eighth house and again, squaring Jupiter in your fifth house. So again, expansion of love, of passion in, in regards to yourself, but in also in terms of um, your relationships, your career, your money, things are going to make you feel good. Again, this is a very nurturing and intimate aspect here in the eighth house. And this is also happening at a Scorpio degree. So there may be intimacy involved in certain relationships. You may get some sexy time this week, Sagittarius. Um, but this is also making the investment in terms of your own passion and self, uh, in terms of career and ways in which you achieve abundance in your own life. We look now to Tuesday where we have Mercury square Mars. Again, Mercury and Leo and Mars in the sixth house. This is the day-to-day -day, the day -to -day life that you want to build and are going to feel good about and this is expressing and expanding your mind, your beliefs, but in a more loving way to try to get this and move in this direction for you. If we move ahead to Wednesday now, we're going to see this Mercury trine Chiron. This, heal this is about healing the wounds of love. Where have you felt wounded in terms, in terms of love? And now... Mercury is here. So these are the, the thoughts on that. Where do you need to expand? Where do you need to expand on those beliefs in your mind to bring more self-love back and to love yourself and feel passionate about yourself and your uniqueness and where you fit into this world and using that as a crutch to stand on instead of having it limit you and feel like a victim in your life. Let's pull some cards for you, Sag. Okay, Sagittarius, let's pull some cards. Clear this deck, give it a little shuffle here. Away. Come on, there we go. All right. What does the universe want Sagittarius to know for this week? The universe have for Sagittarius week. All 
All right, we have the Ace of Swords, Inspiration, Communication, Adjustments. Feels like you might be, again, I'm being drawn to the idea of expanding, expanding your mind into a new awareness state of your life and what's happening around you. And again, also in terms of, you know, communication. And I'm also being drawn to the word inspiration as well. As the sun will be in Leo and Mercury is in Leo, this is about that creativity, that inspiration through love and, and, and gaining that in your life. Have a good week, Sagittarius. Hey everyone, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you liked this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, hit that bell for notifications. Um, if you want a reading with me or follow me on social media or any of that stuff, all the links are, descript are in the description below. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have a good week. See you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye.